Hello, there's no prizes for guessing where I am this afternoon, although you do get a well done if you can pronounce it properly. In the next few minutes, I'm going to show you around this cottage on the other side of the road here called Darwin, and we're in the village of Minturog. And the special thing about this one is that not only do you get the cottage with it on this side of the road, which is grade two listed, but right behind me, on the other side of the road, behind all that ivy, there's another grade two listed hay barn. Now, if you don't know anything about Minturog, it's got a really interesting history. It was formerly part of the Oakley estate. The Oakley family amassed a huge fortune from the slate industry. And I believe that they lived at Plas Tanna Bog, which is just across the valley over here. That's the Durid Estuary over there, and the river is ideal for kayaking and a real haven for wildlife as well. If we go about half a mile out of the village, towards the coast down the estuary there, also there's another really spectacular natural site. There's a huge canyon with a big waterfall, and loads more forestry, and a lot more paths to explore as well. Just up the hill here, behind Delwyn, there's another bit of forestry as well. That's called Coid Camlin, and that's actually managed by the NRW. So you can see, if you move here, you're going to be in a really lovely environment. So this here is the stone hay barn. You can see it stands just by this stream here. Now it wouldn't surprise me if when you get to spring you find there's a bit of Japanese knotweed that needs treating here, but uh, it'll be a bonus if there's not anyway. The barn itself uh, did also get granted permission to be turned into a garage uh, around about uh, year 2000 or something, but I'm not quite sure of the details on that. But you've certainly got the potential for more parking and a nice bit of garden area as well. I'm just on the public footpath that runs up behind Derwin here, but you can see there's this little bit of garden area to the left of the cottage. Although it's pretty overgrown, there is a nice view from here. Going a little bit further up the hill, you can see there's also a garden on the other side, but it's really overgrown. It's a bit of a disadvantage that the property is set close, so close to the road here and you've only got this two or three feet gap between you and the road. Once we go inside, I'll try and show you that there is a lot of work to be done in here. There's a lovely solid wood front door that takes you straight into the kitchen. This is half finished really, we've got some nice units in here, and a nice tiled floor, but the electrics are still uh, hanging out the walls and there's some finishing off to be done. Nice stone worktops and Belfast sink. But don't be fooled, that plumbing's going nowhere. Now if you're liking what you're seeing so far, don't go jumping for joy straight away. These are low doorways and not a very high ceiling, but it's full of character. There's quite a lot of space in this lounge dining room and I love this beamed ceiling, but again, you're gonna have to budget for putting some proper heating in this building. Let's go upstairs and have a look round here. Having three good bedrooms off the landing is a really good attribute. They've also got nice traditional doors on them still as well. The door into the main bedroom is only just tall enough for me to get through, but the bedroom itself has got a lovely high ceiling and an exposed stone wall there. There's a lot of rubbish to be cleared out of these other two bedrooms, but they have both got double beds in them at the moment. You're going to have to bear with me in the bathroom here because there's no light. But there is quite a bit of space. There's a separate shower cubicle and a corner bath. So there's lots of space to do something good with this room. There's absolutely no doubt about it. There's loads here for your money. Cottage, gardens, streamside position and a dilapidated barn all in a lovely rural environment in Minturog. So if you'd like to have some more information, please go to our website, or if you'd like to come and have a look at it, please give me a call on the usual number, which is 01341 281 If you want to be updated about further properties that come onto our books, please subscribe to the Sanderson Estate Agents YouTube channel, because that's usually where things appear first of all now. Anyway, I'm Andy Sanderson, this is Ruby, Thanks very much for watching and I hope to hear from you soon. Bye bye now. Off you go Rube. Go on in.